Hey everyone, I am Dennis Hunter and I'm out in the field at the beautiful and historic Long Beach Airport. And folks, if you haven't been here, it's like taking a step back in time. It is fantastic. But anyways, my guest today is Jordan Sims, who is the Public Information Officer for the Long Beach Airport. Jordan, welcome to the show. Thank you, Dennis. So, Jordan, you know, everyone's going green. You know, there's businesses that are going green. We know the Long Beach Airport's going green. But, you know, word on the street is that you guys are starting to use cold ironing. Tell me a little bit about that and tell me uh, what technology you're using to make all that work. Well, cold ironing is essentially very similar to what's going on at the Port of Long Beach. People may have heard of it there. Um, when ships come in, they can plug in and use electric power. And we're doing the same thing here at the airport. So when planes land and pull up to the terminal, instead of running their APUs or auxiliary power units like they normally do, they're able to plug into in-ground power units and run off electric power. We have five of those installed right now, and we will be building uh, five more as a part of our airport modernization plan. And uh, planes will be able to plug in and reduce emissions, which helps passengers as well as residents. That is fantastic. Now we know that solar panels are stationary, but what makes your solar panels here at the Long Beach Airport so special? Well, uh, it's, it's funny you ask that. We are really happy about our solar technology. We have two different kinds of solar panels at this time. Um, we have some near, right next to the terminal, that move uh, and track with the sun throughout the day. And those provide a considerable amount of power for the terminal. We also have solar panels in our cell phone waiting lot. Uh, we don't want people to be waiting at night in the dark. Uh, we want them to feel safe. Um, and these are really new because they're high-tech film that collects sun in various types of weather, be it overcast weather or rain. Uh, you don't have to have the brightest, sunniest days uh, like the older panels, which are right next door to the terminal. So we all know that airplanes make a lot of noise, you know, but here at the Long Beach Airport, you guys have a special noise berm. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, our noise berm is really part of our policy of being a good neighbor for residents. Uh, we know that our business uh, produces noise, and the noise berm is meant to be a barrier between the community and the airport. It's located on the south part of the airport uh, near uh, the end of runway 30, our main runway, and it's um, composed of recycled construction materials. Um, we're constantly improving runways and other parts of the airport, and um, we recycle the materials into the berm. So at this point, it's about 40 feet high, and we know that it does a really good job of protecting residents from airport noise. So Jordan, is there anything else you want to add that I didn't touch upon? Sure. Well, if people are interested in more information about either the airport modernization plan or the Green Airport Program, they can visit our website at www.lgb.org. Or they can feel free to contact the Public Affairs Office at 562-570-2600. Jordan, thank you so much for all the great information and for your time today, buddy. And folks, there you have it. If you haven't been out to Long Beach Airport, you got to come out here. It's quick. It's easy. It's like a small airport with a hometown feel. Overall, it's a win-win. And guys, we'll see you next time.